DV LA Mania Portable Bluetooth Speaker Also looks very luxurious and premium This thing weighs about 5 pounds or 2.2 kilograms which is extremely heavy um, I would say for what it looks like it feels maybe 2 or 3 times more expensive, uh, more heavy than it actually is Price wise this is 1100 Canadian um, I've had other speakers before from Bose to Sony's to JBL's and etc and they usually range from $50 all the way up to maybe 350 Canadian so this is definitely three times more expensive um, and compared to JBL this looks a lot smaller right um, but it is a lot better than all those ones and compared to all the speakers I've heard of for um, definitely definitely the the best in terms of bass and vocals and clarity so uh, before i talk too much let me show you some copyright free music uh, this is gonna play at 60 percent volume um so yeah let's go yeah this is less than a meter away about 50 centimeters speaker also comes with ability so when you put it near the wall it will change and get more bassy you can hear, make, you can hear when it changes so effectively now it's a lot more bassy than before when you hear that cutout that's when it um, calibrated so a lot more bassy more dumpy automatically just change the way it sounds so for reference I'm gonna start with the forefront of the speaker this is about three meters away from the speaker three meters away so let me change the song and I'll put it uh, max volume Let's try this one out. Alright, so this is max volume right here. At 3 meters away, this is max volume. I'm repeating myself. This is 3 meters away at max volume. So this is extremely loud. Definitely meant for outdoors, not for indoors. Yeah, the whole room is vibrating right now. It's actually hurting my ears too. I did three minutes away. Alright, so let's try to listen to the music. Okay, I'm gonna put a new music on. Uh, and I'm gonna put a random one because I don't know any of these songs. Okay, let's put around uh, 20%. Okay, let's try a different music. Okay, so this is about 30%. In case you want to listen to, uh, listen to music at night time. So this is about 30 centimeters. Change the music again.
Okay, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, I think the speaker sounds really nice um, at all volumes, low, uh, medium, and high, and at max volume. Um, because this thing is high watts at 176, I think it's 38 each. 38 of the um, these ones here, then the base is like, I don't know, 40? I could be wrong, I think I'm wrong. But anyway, it's 176. Um, compared to JBL Extreme, uh, which is about, I think, 80 or something. Their boombox is about 100, 180 when it's plugged in or something like that. Um, normal speakers, I think they have 20 to 60 watts. So this definitely does punch above its weight class. And the reason why watts is important is just, you know, um, gives better, it's cleaner, makes the noise more clean, and it doesn't push the speaker beyond its capabilities, right? And to be loud, you need a lot of watts. So this is definitely, definitely, definitely loud. It's like a portable um, boombox that's mini in the sense that it's small, but the sound it punches exactly as loud as a boombox with more clarity. Now going to back how it sounds, um, let's talk about clarity first, because for me, that's number one. So unlike JBL Extreme, and I know I go talk about it a lot, but that's the loudest speaker I've ever had. This thing can go as loud, but somehow, and somehow I don't know how they do it, but it is a lot, lot more clear and with almost zero muddiness for a portable Bluetooth speaker. Um, now, now, if I had to rate the clarity out of 10, I would definitely give it, um, I'll give it a, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 uh, for clarity because, you know, there's always room for improvement. Uh, for the bass, it's very thumpy, very strong, extremely clear, clean. Um, that's why they're famous for it. So extremely clean bass. And now like other speakers, um, the bass gets really muddy and it drowns out the vocals, the instruments. And basically the the bass is, is just like very muddy. Just try to, And the worst part, it drowns out everything. So the bass on this thing is very clean. You can still hear the vocals, which is really important. You can still hear like you know, like a little harsh when people are talking. You can hear that, that vibration. You can hear it um, with the instruments, piano. Um, you know, any t anything you're, you're listening to, it's just very, very, it comes through. And the bass doesn't overpower it. Yet it's very strong, so which is really nice. So that, so basically yeah, also a 9 or 10. Um, just because it's it's not as loud as JBL's, but it does really, 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 really nice. Um, coming back to that, um, is, this is Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, 5 and somehow, when you're watching YouTube videos, that's fine. But on Netflix, there's some latency there for some reason. Um, what else? So, also when you're watching YouTube videos and you're listen, using speakers, um, this always tends to be a little bit extra more bass than you like. Uh, this thing is, was no exception, though it is a lot better than our speakers because the vocals on this is really great. So probably the best one um, compared to all our speakers I've heard. Um, so yeah, so overall, definitely a nine out of ten. Um, it's very, 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 very luxurious, right? So going back to that, it's very premium looking, very nice. Has some, they call this padding, but you know, it's just for bumps here and there. Uh, but you definitely, since it's so heavy, you definitely don't want to drop it. Because I can tell you for sure of how heavy it is. One drop from maybe around this distance, and it probably would break. Or not break like, internally, but probably big dents in there. So, um, anything else that I can say to this? Ah, volume wise. So usually I like to enjoy this around uh, 30 to 50 percent at nighttime. Uh, 60 percent is my volume that I like, uh, up to 75 percent if no one's home. 80 percent I'll say is the limit in when you're in the living room. Now anything between 80 to 100 percent, or especially 100 uh, percent, you have to do it outside. Even in a large open environment like the living room, I just think it's way too loud. So max maybe 85 pushing it to 90 when you're in a big living room that's like bachelor studio style where there's no like doors so you know the sound can um anticipate uh, dissipate so yeah um but yeah uh, even at low ends at 20 percent classical music when you're trying to sleep at night uh, or even the white noise or whatever noise you want to play uh it's really really clean really nice really really sharp which i love but it's definitely not worth the one thousand one hundred dollars just because um, I don't think any speaker should go above like $500 realistically. I mean, it is very, very lovely looking, 
but like, can you really justify paying that much? I'm gonna keep it though, cause I love it. I never heard any speaker this great before though, so I'm gonna keep it for sure. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions.